In order to facilitate discussing the role of the family in Islam, we can divide it into three main divisions. 1. The primary or initial family. It is the basic unit and it is made up of husband, wife, children, and the relations of both or either one of those two spouses. 2. The intermediate family. This is more comprehensive than the first, for it covers the whole territory and homeland. It may be called the national family. 3. The human family. This is by far the most extensive family and represents, or rather includes, all of mankind on earth. Thus, by virtue of these definitions, the role of the family in Islam can be seen as having an important connection with all of the sectors mentioned above. The Primary Family Its rise and the roles, functions and relationships among its members, their rights and duties, are critical to building a stable society. The family comes into existence as a consequence of a legal marriage, which is one of Allah's sanctioned traditions in creation and formation. It is a common and regular practice to all human creatures. Allah says, O mankind, revere your guardian Lord, who created you from a single person, created of like nature, his mate, and from them twain scattered, like seeds, countless men and women. TQ, Surah 4, The Woman, Verse 1. It has been Allah's will and decree that the family is based upon the relationship between a man and a woman. It is founded on their mutual consent, offering an acceptance to note this consent, to belong to each other, thereby restricting the instinct to seek other unsound and illicit relationships, so that the progeny may be protected and the woman safeguarded against being regarded as public property or a burden upon society. Role and Functions 1. Protection and Sustaining of the Human Race it is through family life that human offspring are perpetuated by multiplication till the end of this earthly life. The Quran says, Allah has given you wives from among yourselves, and through them he has granted you sons and grandsons. TQ, Surah 16, The B, verse 72. 2. Safeguarding Lineage and Descent a well-grounded family consists of members that take pride in descent from their forefathers and ancestors. One cannot ignore the psychological and personal significance which this sort of family linkage implies. It endows men with dignity and pride. 3. Freedom and intactness of society from immorality. The social structure is intact only when the proper way for building the family is followed. Otherwise, Nations are afflicted with social decay and moral degeneration. For this precaution, Islam has ordained that families must be the result of legal marriages in order to keep people secure and to ensure good morals and virtuous manners. Muhammad says, O oh young people, those of you who can marry, let them do so, for this causes abstinence and continence. But those who cannot should go on fasting, which makes them refrain and it safeguards them. 4. Keeping the community secure against disease A Muslim family is a source of bounty, chastity, and cleanliness. For this reason, the percentage of sexual infections in Muslim communities are low compared to other communities, where the family life is unstable as a result of indiscriminate and illicit intercourse between males and females. The AIDS disease emphasizes the importance and necessity of the family being founded on moral decency and a monogamous relationship, with its restricted intercourse and the lack of intermingling between the two sexes. 5. Spiritual and Psychological Ease and Tranquility The family is the origin out of which all love, kindness, and intimate familiarity springs between the two spouses, their children, and other family members. Any civilization that is expected to survive must be built upon love, balance, and bounty. Moreover, psychological and spiritual peace of mind and calm impels parents to do their best looking after and taking good care of their children. 6. The family is a cooperative institution. The two spouses collaborate and share responsibilities, each of them in his or her own special capacity and sphere. Consequently, children are imbued with cooperative trends and altruistic intentions.
Islam splendidly urges the building of families in marriage. Muhammad says, Marry and take wives, for this increases your means of living. Al-Tusi The Relationships that Rule Family Members 1. The husband's rights incumbent upon his wife. 2. The wife's rights incumbent upon her husband. 3. The rights of the children upon their parents. 4. The rights of the parents upon their children. 5. The rights of kin and relatives. First, the rights of the husbands. Allah says, Men have authority over women because Allah has made one superior to the others, and because they spend their wealth to maintain them. Therefore, good women are devoutly obedient and guard in husband's absence what God would have them guard. TQ, Surah 4, The Women, verse 34. As to the prophetic traditions, we cite the following. A. Ummu Salama, God bless her, relates that Muhammad has said, Any woman with whom her husband is pleased shall go to paradise when she dies. B. al Tabarani relates that the Prophet has said, The duties that a woman must do for the sake of her husband are not to forsake his bed, to help him keep his oath, to obey his bidding, not to go out except after getting his permission, and not to admit a person whom he dislikes into his home. C. He also says, The angels will execrate or damn the woman who forsakes her husband's bed all night long until she wakes up. Secondly, the wives' rights.